The tube has got a protective cover on the front, which if I carefully remove, you can see a very thin window which allows the radiation to pass in. This one here has had the, the end of the tube removed, revealing a central wire which is positively charged and a cylinder which is the negative connection. Every time the radiation comes in, it'll trigger an event which can then be counted by a machine. Schools may have different types of meters, but essentially they all provide the same function, to provide the voltage to the Geiger-Müller tube and count the events. Whenever you're setting up a radioactive source, you always make sure it isn't pointing at people. And um, a good setup is to use a retort stand with the radioactive source pointing downwards all the time and the Geiger-Müller tube at the bottom. Whenever you're using a Geiger-Müller tube, particularly if you're holding it in a clamp, it's very important to make sure you don't squeeze it too hard because that too could damage the window.